Andrea Bouget from Aroma Head Institute, and I want to show you the way that I burn resins and resin powders on bamboo charcoal. And so I have this great charcoal that is so much nicer than the self-igniting charcoal that people usually use to burn resins because there's no lighter fluid in this, there's nothing toxic in it, it's purely made from bamboo, it's really nice. So I have these little mini tongs, but if you don't have one of these around, then you could just use tweezers. And this is one of the shapes of the bamboo charcoal. And I just pick it up and I have a lighter and I'm just gonna light the end of it. And it takes a little while to get lit because it doesn't have lighter fluid in it. And so I just hold the flame to the end of the bamboo charcoal for 30 seconds or a little bit more maybe until it ignites and then once it's ignited then it will burn slowly across the whole piece of charcoal and this little piece will burn for probably 30 minutes so I can add resin or powder to it a couple times. So once I can see now that it is lit and what I do is blow on it and then you can see that it's red hot. And then I just take this and I put it into like a little ceramic bowl. And then I can put the resin blend that I've made or the powder right on top of the charcoal. So I do have a resin blend that I made. It's got a couple different kinds of copal in it and rosemary leaves and it has some different spruce essential oils. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of it and I'm gonna put it right on top of the charcoal. And even if it drops next to the charcoal, as long as it's touching the charcoal, it will burn. And so as soon as the charcoal is lit, you know, maybe halfway across, it's burned maybe another 30 seconds or so, the resin will start to smoke. And as we're waiting for that to happen, I wanted to show you that I have another burner. This is just a really cool little burner that I actually bought in Morocco. And you open it up and it's the same thing. You can just put the charcoal right in there. And oh, this is starting. And I'll show you I have a different shape of the bamboo charcoal. And so I'll just pick that up and you can see this is a long round one. You can see the smoke starting from this one. That smells amazing. Wow, it's really pretty. So I'll move the smoke over here and then I'll show you that this is the same thing. I just hold it on the end and this is a little bit bigger and it'll burn probably for about an hour, which is really cool. So I'm just holding it on here until it ignites and it'll take a little bit. And I love this because I can use 100% natural incense that I make myself. I can buy different resins, mix them up, put some essential oils on them, and or just burn the resin right as it is. You can just buy something like frankincense resin and just put it right on the charcoal and burn it. And you have a beautiful incense. Same with the powders. Let's see how this is doing. This takes a little bit longer to ignite. Looks good. Oh yeah. Can you see that? That's good. So then I can just put this in here. I'm just gonna put it down and then I'm gonna stand it up. And then I can put the blend. Now I have this really gorgeous sandalwood powder from India, Mysore sandalwood powder. It's a real thing. It's so beautiful. And so I'm just going to take a little pinch of the powder and I'm going to sprinkle it right on top of the charcoal. It couldn't be simpler. And then you can see from here that this is burning and we have a beautiful smell coming into the room with this gorgeous smoke. And then if I want, I can close this top and then the smoke will just come out the little holes in the top. 
This is just the most beautiful aroma. If you want a peaceful environment, like you're meditating, you're doing yoga, you're writing, maybe it's evening time, you just want a really beautiful smell in the room. This is it, it's really great. So I hope you enjoy it.